Hey guys, thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies once again. Today we have this 1990 Toyota pickup six cylinder. We're going to be doing an ignition timing check real fast. All right, so first off, I already checked the timing actually. You're going to use your handy dandy special jumper wire. You're going to jump T1 and E1. How do I know it's those two? Because it says it right here. There you go. When you jump T1 and E1 over here, you shall, oops, see, it didn't jump it right. Your check engine light will flash. Let me make sure I got this right. Now let's try that again. Woo, it's almost fell. All right, now you have a flashing check engine light. That lets you know that you're in base timing mode. Okay, so this is a digital timing gun. We're at 770-ish RPMs. I am hooked onto the number one cylinder wire. How do I know that? Because it says it on your rotor over here, or cap, number one. And then with your timing gun still on zero, I'm not adjusting the timing up or down yet. I'm only gonna check Pencil. There you go. So the timing on this one right now currently is at about 10 degrees. Some of you might be asking, what are we actually looking for while we're checking the timing? Real fast, we're checking for the indicator or the gauge that's mounted on the block of your engine. That is going to line up with the timing indicator, which is a single mark on your pulley. You shouldn't have more than one mark. This is zero on the gauge. It'll read five degrees after top dead center and all the way up to 15 degrees before top dead center. But we are going to try to line it up with 10 degrees, which is right here to best we can. Specification allows plus or minus three degrees on your timing to be okay with smog. 10 degrees and that's it so as long as you don't move these buttons you're just seeing where your timing is at if you move them up or down it'll move it closer or further away from TDC and you could verify timing but that is a real simple ignition timing check on this 1990 Toyota pickup like subscribe share and hope I'll see you on the next one